Hey guys, welcome to another video with Lock with Leilani. Who is Lock with Leilani? That is me. And Lock with Leilani is hot. Definitely come along and join me at Michael Stores as I go in here and I just kind of check out and see what they have for fall. Fall is just starting to arrive. They were actually putting things out as I was there. And there's not very much out, as you guys can see. Just some wreaths, some garland, just, you know, just a few little things that are out in the store. Nothing real crazy, um, but it was definitely exciting to see some of the fall. Definitely make sure that you guys go to Hobby Lobby and check out their store. They have all their fallout and everything is 40% off. So definitely go check out Hobby Lobby. I'm super excited to see what else Michaels is going to get. I will go back and visit in a few weeks. They did not have any Halloween at all. I was a little bit bummed out about that, but you guys know Michaels, we love them. Their store is super pricey, but I know this stuff is coming. So here in these beautiful baskets, I saw some picks and these are perfect to put together a fake floral kind of decor. And then I saw some more flowers that were more like kind of picks, but more so like full size flowers. Definitely check out some other locations like Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree for some of those to get them at a little bit of a cheaper price. It's always worth it, right? Um, here, I just kind of showed you guys a little bit closer up on some more of the picks, just kind of going over a little bit more, a little bit more vases and things like that. And I don't know, like I thought the stuff was looking good so far, but I'm super excited for more to come. I cannot wait. Here's another close up on the other side of the baskets with more of the floral. It gives all those vibes for fall. You guys ready, ready for sweater weather? The summer is just now starting to be in full bloom. I just can't see myself ready for fall just yet, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm ready. I'm ready for fall, but then I'm not ready for fall. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are ready for fall because some people are and some people are not and a lot of people are ready for Halloween. So let me know down in the comments if you are ready for fall or are you just kind of getting into the scheme of things with the summer. There's another decor setup that they have at Michael's here. You guys can see, I want to call it the Italiano. I did pick up this recipe book right here. I'm showing it to you guys. I started writing in it for my kids so they can have that for the future. Just some of my recipes. They have this adorable bowl that has like a fork with spaghetti wrapped around it. Adorable. Making spaghetti tonight coincidentally. They have so many cute items here. And I was just like in awe of just the cuteness and the pumpkin canister though. It was everything. Not the pumpkin, the tomato. There we go. There's a, there's a, there it is again. The tomato canister was so adorable. And then they had a pasta container. They had these cute little signs, the bread basket. It was just so many different things there that I just thought were adorable. I don't need those items, but I, it was so cute to see them in the store. Definitely stay, stay tuned to the end of the video. I will be showing you guys a haul. I only picked up three small things. I will have a quick DIY in my next video. My next video after this one will be us going to Disneyland on Saturday. And today is actually Wednesday. So happy Wednesday to you guys. Definitely stay to, stay to the end of the video to hear what I've got going on for my future video. And definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys are ready for fall. On that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Stay cool. Bye. Okay guys, so you guys are here for the haul portion of the video and I did something a little bit different. I'm actually talking to you guys a little bit higher up. I actually put my phone on this expensive tripod. Well, it wasn't that expensive, but it's a tripod that I actually bought and I'm just starting to try to use it. I did take the case off of my phone. This is my current case for my phone. I took the case off so that I could put my phone on the actual tripod and then I could just kind of film like that. 
because I feel like going forward, it's probably better to use a tripod when I'm making videos. And then that way I'm just like hands free and it just makes for a better situation. But I do appreciate you guys being here and I appreciate the support. I know some of you guys are new to the channel as well. And I've been doing this for about seven or eight months, I think now. I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel. And I remember when my kids were little, my daughter now is 16 and my son is 23. And I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel. I wanted to be one of those like family vloggers back in the day like that did like travel because we went to, used to go to Vegas a lot and we used to go to Arizona and Palm Desert. We used to be like in the car traveling a lot more than we do now as our kids are older. Um, life's different now. You know, when your kids get older, you don't travel as much necessarily, you know, like the, the things that you did when they were little, you don't necessarily do as much. They're not even interested in doing some of those things, but we still try to do some little fun family things. We go out all the time, but we just don't do the same exact stuff that we used to do when they were tiny. But I always wanted to be like a YouTuber and I wanted to have like the fancy camera and all that stuff. I do have an HD camera. I don't use that. I do do all my videos and stuff on my actual iPhone. And I really enjoy sharing with you guys. And, you know, I try to share my family vlogs. My family's very shy. So they're not going to always be in all of my videos. They might, you might see like a little wave or they might just kind of show up a little bit. But I do like to share my family life with you guys. I like to share stuff that I'm purchasing, um, baking, DIYs and things like that. On that note... I did want to share with you guys the stuff that I picked up today. And like I said earlier in the video when I was at Michael's, it is Wednesday. So I want to tell you guys happy Wednesday and thank you guys for being here again. This is the haul portion of the video. I did I did kind of implement that countdown. Hopefully you guys like that. Did y'all like that? That I added that to that? I'm trying to like do a little bit more, a little bit more sophisticated stuff on my video. I'm still learning, so it might not be perfect, but I'm just trying. So let me get into the stuff that I did pick up. So if you guys saw the video. I'm going to show you stuff that I did buy today, which was like three items. It wasn't a lot. It's nothing, nothing fancy today. But if you guys saw in the video, I did pick up this recipe book. I picked up this recipe book uh, the last time I went to Michael's last week. So this is the actual recipe book. <clears throat> Excuse me. I still have this like in my throat, like cough and runny nose and stuff. Um, I think from allergies. And then they have the separate like recipe cards. These recipe cards are a little bit different than what's inside this book. But I did put down the chocolate chip cookie recipe that I have, um, the chocolate chip oatmeal cookie recipe. So I want to show you guys like kind of close up. This is what I wrote in here. This one asks for at the top, this um, how many it serves, the prep time, the cook time, the very top is the recipe name. And then right here you do the ingredients, the directions, and then any extra notes on the bottom. So that's kind of how that looks. And then for this particular book, you can actually, this is how it looks in the inside. I just want to show you guys a little bit in case you guys are interested. This one was $14.99. I thought it was a cute place to kind of put some of my recipes that I can go in here and look at it myself. Or I can actually like just have it and my kids will have it for like, you know, future reference and stuff like that. Uh, for them, like, you know, when I'm older, I don't want to say when I'm gone, but you guys already know what I'm getting at. Um, you know, you just never know. This would be a nice little recipe bit to pass on to my kids. It does have a space for appetizers. I don't really make too many appetizers, but... I do make like an avocado dip that my kids really like, so I will put that in there. And then sides will be like, you know, beans and things like that, potato salad. My son loves my potato salad. I definitely want to have a recipe for him for that. Um, drinks, I don't really make drinks either. Entrees, which will be like my dinner items. And then desserts, um, which will basically be the cookies. And then it has another area for other in the back. I did not see a book or anything that showed where you could put extra pages in here. So whatever's in here is what I'm going to actually use. Um, the beautiful thing about it is all these recipe pages are exactly the same. So if you need more, like say, for example, I don't have a ton of appetizers, but if you end up like needing more for the entree section, you can take some of the appetizer ones out and put some more in where the entree is. But I think this book is perfect enough in all the areas that I need everything and it, everything will be fine. So this was pretty much from the like Italian section. They had different themes at Michael's. As you guys know, they have different things at Michael's different themes for every different like season, the holiday and stuff like that. So this was one that was new this year. I thought that was really cool. And then I did buy some extra cards. These were $3.99. And like I said, they're shaped different, but you guys can pick these up. It, it's called the Italian Kitchen Collection. So let me get that right because it says it on the back here. Um, so it's Ashland Italian Kitchen um, Collection. So aside from that, I did pick up some more cupcake liners. And today is 626 day which is um, Stitch Day, like Stitch's birthday, Stitch Day. So if you're a Disney person, today is Stitch's Day. And so I saw these blue ones and I was like, should I do like a Stitch cupcake today? I was like, no, 
I don't have any stitch rings. I'm probably not going to do that. I was like, nope, nope, nope. I have too many other cupcakes that I plan to do. Next week, I'm going to be doing a 4th of July cupcake. So these are the actual liners I'm going to use. I picked these up at Michael's today. These are so pretty. Uh, let's see if it has a color. It doesn't say, let's see. It doesn't have a color on there, but it says new on the sticker right here. So this color reminds me of my wedding color. It's called Cornflower from David's Bridal. Um, so that was like a color that I use in my wedding. I love that shade of blue and it's perfect for like the summer and the sea. So I did get some of these rings from my local grocery store. My friend at the grocery store is so nice to me. So he gave me some of these rings. And so I have a ton of them. As you guys saw, he gave me a couple of the hamburger hot dog rings. I'm not going to use those, but he just kind of threw like a couple of those picks in there. So this is the hamburger and this is the hot dog. I'm not going to use those, but the ones that I did get from him, let me show you guys those real quick. Um, and these are from the grocery store. I want to show you guys the ones that he gave me. I'm trying to just make sure I get ones out that um, he gave me some, some other ones that are Americana shaped like a heart, but I'm not going to pull those out there on my table. But this is one, this is a camera. And then this one is a beach ball. And then this one is like a cute little lawn chair. And these are all rings for your cupcakes. And then look at this one, the snow cone. You guys remember my last one from Memorial Day? I did a snow cone. Um, <coughs> excuse me. There's a couple more in here too, I think. At least one or two more. I think it's a sandal and then there's a pair of shorts. The shorts, I was just so, oh my gosh, I love those. Aren't those cute? Like men's shorts. I was obsessed when I saw those. And then, of course, the sandals. The sandals are super cute, too. And these are the sandals. And I think these are all of them. So this is what? Six different ones? Yeah. I think that's all of them because I have them all in here. So I'm going to use these for my cupcakes um, that I do this um, this 4th of July. And I will have a 4th of July video for you guys. Like, that's already next week. Like, can you guys believe that? The year is flying by. So I'm going to be doing a French vanilla Betty Crocker cake, and then I'll be kind of fixing up the, the mix of the way that I like to mix it up, um, adding my vanilla and my almond extract. And then I have the cupcake liners that I'm gonna be using as well for those. So you guys will see those in my video. And then another DIY I'm gonna be doing in my next video, which will be my Disney video that I'll be sharing with you guys on Saturday. I'm gonna be doing since it's 626 um, day and everything's about stitch with the anniversary of the movie this year and this month for June. So I'm gonna be doing a stitch bag for you guys. I haven't done a DIY in a while. So I'm gonna do like a super easy one. This one was, it's by Craftsmith and it's just a pouch and it's kind of like that swishy material, kind of, you know, like canvas or whatever, vinyl. And this one was $9.99, but they're on sale right now for $4.99. So if you guys wanna pick these up, I had a $10 coupon, so I pretty much got this for free. It was $4.99 on sale, and then I also picked up the cupcake liners, which were $5. So I basically got these two items for free, and then I also had a 20% coupon on top of that. So I paid like $3 out the door for all three of these items today, and these are the three items that I picked up today that are a part of my haul, but the other items I just wanted to show you guys because the stuff coming up that I'm going to be doing, and this is basically a fabric fusion glue. This one was $5, but like I said, I had a 20% off coupon, and I paid like $2 and some change out the door, which is not bad. So I just ordered off of Amazon a stitch iron-on. It's just a small little stitch iron-on, and it's like his face. So basically what I'm going to do is super easy little DIY. I'm going to take the stitch, and I'm going to take this glue and glue it to the back, and I'm going to stick it right here in the center of the bag, and then I'll have a stitch bag perfect for my day trip to Disneyland. It's coming Saturday. We'll be at Disneyland for my husband's birthday. He's turning 65. Yes, my husband is an older guy, and we are going to have fun today. I cannot wait. Not today, but I cannot wait till Saturday till we go and have some fun. I will be doing, like, another video. I did um, share, like, some other past videos of us just kind of hanging out, doing different things, and also a Disney video. So definitely check that one out from, what, I think March. But I will be doing a video. All four of us are going this time, and it's going to be so fun. And we're going to California Adventure and Disneyland, so definitely check that out. But this is the bag right here, and I'm going to use this glue and then the little patch that's going to come in the mail. I was able to find a patch that's going to be able to come tomorrow because I wanted to get this craft done before I go to Disneyland on Saturday because I do want to take this bag inside of my lounge fly Lilo and Stitch backpack. I'm going to take a mini backpack and I'll show you guys kind of like the DIY. The DIY will be before I actually show you guys the, the visit to Disneyland. It won't probably be a real long video, but I will be like doing like just kind of like a, a view of us going to the parks and just having some fun. So I'll definitely share that with you guys as well. So on that note, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. 
definitely make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Definitely let me know if you guys have started to find some fall items. If you guys are ready for fall, that was a question I asked at the beginning of the video. Let me know down in the comments. Also turn your notification on so that you don't miss another video when I do share it. I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful summer so far. Make sure you stay hydrated. Make sure you spend as much time as you can with your family and friends that are still here with you. Make sure that you just take care of yourself. Give yourself grace and just enjoy the summer and just take everything day by day. I'm trying to learn that just to kind of take it easy, do things day by day. You guys know I'm in the midst of like cleaning house. I will have another video probably for you guys next week on me cleaning another space because y'all, my house is junky. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I got a lot of stuff all over the place. I just shared a video with you guys a week or so of my hallway closet. It's still doing good. So check that video out if you guys haven't. Um, prior to that video, I just pretty much did like just some regular like vlogs and just things like that. So just definitely go and kind of look at some videos. If you have some free time, go and binge some of my videos and make sure to like them and comment. So on that note, I will see you guys on Saturday when I'm ready to go to Disneyland. I'm going to share with you guys this pouch DIY and then kind of our day. I'll probably try to share the video either if I have time on Saturday to edit it, which I probably won't because I'm sure we're going to be getting home late. I'll probably edit it this coming Sunday and then I'll go ahead and share it with you guys then. But on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.